What's up, everyone? Um, today, <clears throat> I'm going to bring you guys Pokemon, or uh, episode 2 of my Road to Master Ball tier with uh, ground types only. I believe last time we went 1 and 2, so that's our overall record. Um, I, I'm going to be using the same team, except the only change I did was I... I gave Flygon Outrage instead of um, Dragon, I think Dragon Tail, because um, I didn't notice until I rewatched the footage. But I forgot that Dragon Tail is negative priority, so the battle I lost against that Dragapult, um, I might have been able to outspeed it and hit it with like something that would have saved me a little bit more HP, maybe in the end game to act, maybe win that battle. Um, the very last game so I and there's no reason to run a negative priority move if I'm using a choice card Pokemon like Flygon so otherwise Flygon would have outsped Dragapult um, I don't think I would have knocked out because it was Dynamax but I would have gotten like some damage off for um, for I think I had Mammoth Swine in the back and I might have been able to win the game so we're gonna use the same team basically nothing's changed except I gave him Outrage instead of uh, Dragon Tail uh, we're still Pokemon real Pokemon Pokeball tier rank four. Uh, number of battles is three, and we're one and two. So hopefully we can change that. Um, let's get some Marnie. Marnie, yeah, that's fine. Everyone uses Marnie. All right, we got a battle. Here we go. Kessler. What do we got? Ooh, he's got a Bear Tick and Colossal. Gastron's no fun. Okay, so I have to bring Seismitoad because he has Lapras. He's got a water type. So I think I'm going to bring... Do I want to bring... I don't like Bear Tick or Lapras, really. I think I'm going to bring Sandaconda for Glare and... Um, what's it called? Glare and... Uh, Stealth Rocks support, and then bring Excadrill and bring Seismitoad, I think. Um, I think that's the plan here. I think that's the goal here. Hmm. I can get the Rocks up, because that'll help against Bear Tick and Lapras, so we won't be able to switch as much. Um, I am doing this after a... that's why I look like a mess. I did this after an 11-hour stream today. It is currently 4.25 in the morning. So I'm going to see if I can get some battles up. This video will actually be going up today, like the same day um, that you guys are seeing this, so. Oh, Lapras. I'm going to go straight for Glare. I have the, I have the, the, what's it called? I have the good old uh, Focus Sash, so we should be alright. We can stall some Dynamax turns. gonna take at least two turns for this thing to um it's gonna take at least two turns for lapras to hurt me or to kill me anyway so if we get the glare off we're faster let's see if we get some paras i got pretty unlucky a we got a first para that's what we like to see all right bet we're gonna get these rocks up we don't want bear tick coming out um for free um so we're gonna get the rocks up because bear tick is gonna use slush rush i assume at least I think Bear Tick is Slush Rush right now. G-Max Resonance. Yeah, this is going to hurt. It's going to replace... It's going to give him, him Aurora Veil and it's going to replace... It's going to start healing. But luckily with Sanaconda, it goes straight to... um, What's it called? It goes straight to, to Sand. I think it's, he still gets Aurora Veil up though, which just sucks. Um, he still gets Aurora Veil up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, still got Aurora Veil up. Um, I think I might just... I think I might just Earthquake here. Um, I think I'm just gonna Earthquake here. There's no reason to switch in Seismitoad when it's just gonna get hit. But let's go for, let's go for the Earthquake. Get some damage off on Lapras. Stall at its last Dynamax turn. Okay, so he's gonna set up rain. That's alright. 
It's okay. Lapras is pretty huge. I wonder how much Seismito does with Grass Knot on Lapras. Sand Spit again. Let's go. Kind of feel like I have to send out Extra Drill to be honest. And just Dynamax right now and go for EQ. <laughs> just Dynamax go for Earthquake. I have Seismito, Earth Power, Sludge Wave. The Grass Knot is what what's the big thing here. Because this is its last turn. Excadrill, I need... No, I need Excadrill to outspeed someone, so... I have the sand up right now, though. That's the thing. I'm gonna go Excadrill. I have the sand up right now. I'm gonna go Excadrill. So Lapras loses Dynamax. It does have Aurora Veil, so this could be pretty bad. Oh, I am gonna go for the D-Max Quake. I'll raise my Spadef so I can tank a little bit better here. Return to good up for Dynamax. Hope I didn't. I might have and should have gone Seismitoad. Because um, I kind of feel like I should have gone Seismitoad only because what's it called? Uh, the Aurora Veil. Try to stall out the Aurora Veil turns for Excadrill. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna kill Lapras. Is fat. Yeah, Lapras is real fat. Does raise my Spadef though. And Lapras is parried. And cease air hit by Sandstorm. We'll go for another. Uh, I don't think this Max Steel Spike will knock it out. So I think I'm going to go for another Quake. Um, has he got in the back? I mean, he could swap. I don't know what he'd swap to. Orphanite, maybe? It's like the only thing that could take a Max Quake. Let's go for the Max Rockfall, just in case he swaps. Yeah, see? Bam. There we go. That's the that's the predict I needed right there. He hits it by the rocks. And we got the Max Rockfall. Very good. Very good, very good there. I bet this thing has body press. I'm going to go for another Max Rockfall. My last Dynamax turn. I hope, I just hope this Corviknight's body press doesn't do too much. Oh, he's just gonna go for Roost? That sucks. Because I might have been able to, um... What's it called? But this is last turn of sand. Yeah, this is last turn of sand. I might have been able to, um... What's the word I'm looking for? I might have been able to hit it with Earthquake. I was way too fast. Earthquake, or uh, Roost will put it on the ground. It would have been super effective. I'm just going to set up a Swords Dance, dude. Um, I predict he's just going to go for Roost again. Yeah, see? I could go for either Iron Head Flinches. Or I can go for the Rock Slide Flinches. I'm gonna go for the rock slide flinches. I am plus two here, life orb. Oof, that does damage. Flinchin couldn't move. Playing with the freaking. You're playing with the uh, the rocks here, or the, the flinches here, buddy. He's just gonna go for roost again. That's what's annoying. Yeah, see, he's just stalling, dude. This guy's so lame. The Roar Veil wore off finally. I'm gonna set up another one. We're just gonna set up in his face, dude. I'll be plus four. I'm down. 
Oh, now he goes for the body press. This might just straight kill me. Nope. I'll die to, uh, what's it called, though? I'm gonna die to, uh, my life orb, though. Corviknight goes down, finally. Do I die to life orb? I do. So unfortunate we do die to life orb. So the only one I have left is now Seismitoad. And I don't know what his other Pokemon is. Um, so he goes to Lapras. I don't know what his last Pokemon is. Oh, he took that Rocks damage. Delicious. Okay, so... Either Gastrodon, Ferrothorn... I bet it's Ferrothorn. If I had to guess, it's Ferrothorn. Do I want to just go for Earth Power? I'm just going to have to go for Earth Powers. It's like the only thing we can do here. Uh, because I can't go for anything else. Because there's some Pokemon that resists it on every, every side. Can't go for Sludge Wave or Grass Knot because of Ferrothorn. Couldn't go for Scald because of, um, because of Colossal, or and Lapras that was directly in front of me. Okay, so we have speed. Ooh, so close. Ice school crash. We're gonna hurt. Oh my god, that damage. Life Orb Bear Tick. Hit him with the Earth Power again. This is 100% accurate Earth Power here. Oh, he's got Aqua Jet, but we got Water Absorb, bro. GG's, my man. I hacks this man. I mean, I had to play around the hacks. He had a Water type. That's kind of what I need to do. That's why I use Anaconda. Sick. So we pick up the W right there, boys. Pick up the W. So now we're 2-2. Two and two. We're 1 on the recording, though. Cool, extra drill <laughs> freaking had to set up, dude. Um, Seismitoad with a good finish there. Good old Sandaconda, dude, putting in the absolute finest. Wow, we didn't get anything for that, man. Wow. That's ridiculous. Straight into the next battle, too. Cool. Oh, God, Blastoise. I don't like seeing Blastoise. And Cloyster. Oh, oh man. I bet it's easy for this guy. Cloyster and Blastoise. I mean, Mammoth Swine kind of goes in here, to be honest. Kind of want to just lead with Mammoth Swine, just straight wall break, dude. I go Santa Con in the back because of. Ugh, I can't go Cloyster. Or, uh. Santa Conda because. Um. Because. Cloyster goes through my focus sash. I'll go Seismitoad again in the back, and I'm gonna go Excadrill. So we'll go those those ones. Mammoth Swine can early wall break um, with Excadrill in the back to finish up. Um, I need Seismitoad because Cloyster is gonna fuck me, <laughs> absolutely destroy me if I don't have uh, if I don't have uh, water resist. Leads and Cinderor. I guess this isn't too bad. I go Mammoth Swine. Intimidates me, so it just cancels out my um, well, cancels out my choice band. I'm just gonna fire off an EQ. I mean, I could swap. Who could I swap to? Seismitoad, maybe. Fire off some Scalds. I'm gonna swap to Seismitoad. I don't want to lose Mammoth Swine yet. Got the Intimidate. Goes for the Fake Out. Okay, it's fine. That does a lot of damage. We're going to fire off a Scald here. Weaken this boy up. He's going to withdraw. Probably Rillaboom. Or Dragapult. Rillaboom. Okay. Fire off a Scald here. Not very effective. Do not get the burn. 
which is unfortunate. All of my Pokemon are weak to grass. The only one that's not weak to grass is Excadrill. I don't want to really leave Seismitoad in to just get freaking one shot. Um, so I could go to Excadrill. Can, Excadrill can for sure take a hit, and then I can Dynamax and go for something. He who Dynamaxes first loses, though. I don't really want to switch Mamoswine in on this. I kind of need Mamoswine for Dragapult. Um, so I think I'm going to go to Excadrill. I think I'm going to swap, because I want to keep Seismitoad around. For Blastoise or Cloyster in the back. So go to Excadrill. Not too bad. Goes for U turn, okay? I bet. Who she go to? I'm gonna assume Blastoise. Blastoise or Dragapult? Or Cloyster. Or Chandelure. I don't think she'll bring Chandelure. Okay, back to Incineroar. Those are be intimidating. It's probably going to go for Fake Out. But I think I'm just going to stay in and let him Fake Out me. I think that's the move here. Actually, I'm going to go to Mammoth Swine. So she may think I'm going to go back into Seismitoad, but I'm actually going to go to Mammoth Swine because predicting another fake out. Yeah, see, fake out? Cool. I know Mammoth Swine's not intimidated and I can just fire off an EQ. She's probably going to switch. I don't think Incineroar is faster than Mammoth Swine. Yeah, see? See, he knows. She knows. He or she, I don't know. Goes out of Rillaboom, good move. That is an easy two hit KO though. Let me tell you. I don't know if Mamoswine's faster than Rillaboom, but Mamoswine's pretty fat. I don't think I can take a hit though. But Mamoswine needs to get this damage out. <laughs> Gonna go for the Dynamax. I'm not sure how fast Rillaboom is. I don't think it's faster than Mammoth Swine. I am running Adamant though, so it might be because I'm not max speed. Well, I am max speed, but I'm not Jolly. Mammoth Swine does outspeed, and we oh, just barely don't pick up the KO. Just for the max overgrowth. Probably gonna knock out Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine does go down, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Hold on, let me look let me look at max speed Rillaboom and max speed Seismitoad. Fuck. Okay, I got some time. Rillaboom. Two seventy one, two ninety five. Okay, so it outspeeds me. So we're gonna go extra drill. It outspeeds me. I just wanted to check to see if Jolly Rillaboom outspeeds Timid uh, Seismitoad, and it does. So we're gonna fight. I think we're just gonna go for an Iron Head here, knock this boy out. And then Dynamax next turn on Incineroar. So it can't fake me out. She's gonna withdraw. Probably into Incineroar. If I had to guess. Here comes Incineroar. Okay. This will be Intimidate again. This girl, this girl likes her Intimidate. I mean, Sinor is a good Pokemon, so pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. We do get the recovery, which is pretty good. The Life Orb. So now we're going to Dynamax, and we're going to go straight for the Max Rockfall. So I can outspeed whatever she's got in the back. 
I'm not plus one, or I'm not, um, I'm minus one, but I have my life for him. But it's only minus 6.7, so they cancel each other out. I'm about to get my sand, though. That's what I'm looking for here. I don't think I'm going to knock on Cinnamon. Cinnamon's fat. Oh, just barely not. Oh, man. That sucks. Parting shot. Oh, that's a good move. Now I'm minus two. But they're all so low. They're so low. Rillaboom's at one, and Cinderor's at one. They're both so low. They're both at one. Ah, it just depends on what she's got in the back. I mean, I'm assuming Blast, Blast Toys or Cloister, if I had to guess, because they basically destroy me. Like, they set up and they just kill me. Like, they absolutely murderize me. Okay, Rillaboom comes out. Oh, almost dies to freaking sand, man. Oh. Almost dies to sand. I don't have anything to raise my... Um, I do have things to raise my defense, though, so I'm going to go for those. Try to get my defense back up, at least. So I can't be killed too easily. Rillaboom goes down. Critical hit didn't matter. That's only my first. That's my second Dynamax turn. So I got one more. Yeah, my hair is really crazy today. Holy, holy moly! One more Pokemon here. I don't know what her backup is. Here comes Incineroar. Intimidates me again. So I'm minus three right now. I am minus three. Do I go for the Max Quake, or do I swap? Because he'll die to sand next turn regardless. I think I'm going to swap. I'm going to keep Excadrill. I'm going to swap. I'm going to keep Excadrill. I need to keep Excadrill. I don't know what she has in the back. And that's... I have still have two more turns of sand. That's the big thing here, too. Just for parting shot. Attack and special attack fell, yeah. It just, is what, it just depends on what she has in the back. Waster, huh? Good news is we kill the focus ash. Bad news is it's gonna get its HP back right here because of the freaking grassy surge. Oh no. Grass disappeared from the battlefield. Okay. The Cloister is incredibly physically defensive. I don't know how heavy Clo Cloister is. Might just go for the Stab Earth Power. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for Stab Earth Power. I mean, I could have gone for Skull and tried to burn it, but... I'm just going to go for the Stab Earth Power. Cloister has no special defense at, at all. So, I think my Sandstorm leaves this turn, too. Or next turn. I'm just trying to stall out the Sand, too. I think this is my last turn Sand. It is. Oh, no. Is that a misplay? Should I have just swapped to X swap to Excadrill earlier? Yeah, that's going to kill me. I mean, it'll die to sand this turn, so... Next Excadrill outspeeds Incineroar. It should die to sand this turn. No, the sandstorm subsided. No. No. I think it's a GG's. Oh, no. Yeah, we lost the sand. 
Oh, man. GG's. Yeah, we're dead. Without the sand, I mean, there's no way I outspeed. Yeah, GG's. Man. Yeah. There's no way. Oh, she could have missed that, too. Which, obviously, didn't, but she could have. Man. Yeah. Oh, dude. Instant War was on one. Oh, I guess I could have... I guess I could have kept Excadrill in on the parting shot. If I would have kept Excadrill in on the parting shot, I could have, um, if I could have, would have kept Excadrill in on the parting shot, I would be able to hit Cloyster with my next move. Well, no. I don't know. I don't uh, I feel like I should have kept extra drill in there and gotten the last Dynamax turn off. I think that would have actually saved me there. Man, dude. That sucks. That was such a close battle, too. And we lost points. Now we're two and three again. We're still minus one. We have won 40% of our battles. We lost 60%. Another rank four, another cloister, and another Lapras. I hate seeing Umbreon. I really do. Okay, overall the team's pretty slow though. Um, I think I'm gonna bring Mammoth Swine for sure. I feel like I have to bring Seismitoad again. Um, I feel like I have to bring Seismitoad again. I, Mammoth Swine's abs, Mab, Mammoth Swine's absolutely insane. I have to bring Mammoth Swine for sure. I'm gonna go Mammoth Swine. He's a pretty stally team. I kind of want to bring Santa Conda and Excadrill. Like the team is pretty stally, you know, or like slow, which would mean S Santa Conda can. And slow him down with glare and i can use seismitoad pretty heavy team actually so let's go seismitoad man dude i wonder what i've done more though earth power or my grass knot i'm gonna look i need to calc that i'll calc it after cloister or or a freaking earth power or sand or grass knot i wonder what i've done more I wonder if um, Grass Knot would have O-coded it. Uh, leads with the Cloister. Okay. Bad news is I have to let it get its thing up. I have to let it Shell Smash. be a bad move yeah okay go straight for shell smash i'm gonna go for the grass knot i want to see how much this does i don't think i'm gonna be able to kill i don't think i'm gonna be able to live this though that's the bad thing now pretty sure i just doomed myself One. Oh, this is going to be close. Two. I think I still die. Three. Oh, he crit me. Yeah, there goes any hope I had of living that. Four. I might have been able to live sh if, if he didn't crit me. I literally got hacks there, dude. I would have lived. I would have lived barely, but I would have lived. Oh, man. That's so lame. Second time I get beat by Cloyster, dude. I think I'm gonna go for um I need to break this ash. Like I, I definitely need to break this ash. So I wanna just go for I wanna try to slow it down. I'm not gonna get a move off anyway. 
Um, yeah, there's no way I get a move off anyway, dude. I'm going to go for Glare. <laughs> Try to slow it down. I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks, I guess. At least this will help me with the Pokemon in the back. This for the Icicle Spear. But we do get the Sand Up, which does break the Sash. That's the big thing here. The Mammoth Swine has to do it with the Dynamax. It's the only thing we got left here. So loses the Focus Sash. Should have just stayed in with Santa Conda and glared it. So dumb. Okay, Mammoth Swine comes out. So I think I need a Dynamax. And click Max Knuckle to try to get a plus one. And then just Max Quake everything to death. I think that's the move here. Because I need to tank one. But I need to get a plus one so I can knock everything else out. I'm about to get swept by Cloyster two times in a row, man. Come on, big mammo. Adamant choice band mammo right here. Goes for liquidation. Does so much damage. It outspeeds me. It doesn't matter, I guess. I have to knock it out here. I have to crit it here. That's the only way. We don't crit it. Oh no. We don't crit it. That's GG. That's a cloister sweep right off the bat, dude. Cloister is a threat. I need to breed a couple more mons and I need to get, like I need to get Gastrodon in here. I need to get someone that can do a cloister. I need to get a taunter. I need to I need a I need a ground type that can taunt. Dude. Straight up. Straight up. We just got swept by cloister, boys. That's an easy 3 0. Now we're two and four. Four, which is not very good to start this off and i think we derank now to three which ain't good which is not good thank you for continuing to play rank battles we got a ball mushroom thanks no we don't care take some time to get the results quit battling we're done okay so what i'm gonna do here at the end is i'm going to look up the damage calc pokemon showdown damage calc because i want to see if seismitoad would have done more damage seismitoad blank set uh 252 special attack with a timid nature with a choice specs um with grass knot how much it would have done to cloister you shell smash cloister zero hp zero spit f it would have go o oh code okay so that was my misplay i should have clicked instead of earth power i should have clicked grass knot 252 special attack apparently it does a lot of damage apparently cloister's heavy it's 100 base power okay at least i know for next time now though um jolly cloister is broken or taken down to sash focus sash with um taken down to focus sash with grass knot so at least we know for next time but unfortunately we're gonna end the battle we're gonna end the day here two and four unfortunately after episode two hopefully we can pick it up again um in the next episode i'm gonna try to breed up some other ground mods even though i had made the team specifically for this like to grind it but um i'm gonna try to breed up some more if i can like maybe a gastrodon um and some of those other ones that are good i can't think of anyone right now gastrodon and someone else who's not on the team can't really recall so anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later